Hi, welcome to the video about the rhetorical analysis essay module. Uh, you can see our class uh, right here. I'm going to go into the content page and um, choose the rhetorical analysis essay module. And then you'll see all of the submodules with your assignments, uh, handouts, and examples. Okay, so uh, let's look here at this one the essay instructions. So this is basically taking what you did in the annotated bib and expanding it uh, to give more detail and analysis, but also just to focus on one article. So um, you've already submitted an article for my approval, uh, and that's in a separate module that talks about what those requirements are. Um, and again, uh, this is gonna be continuing to work on the topic that you proposed uh, to do your research on this semester. So after this essay, we'll, we'll do our last essay, and that will be the argumentative research paper. And in that paper, that's when you actually get to argue a position on that topic that you've chosen. The purpose of this assignment is to help you practice the skills that researchers use to determine whether uh, a source that you found is actually credible and useful for your own writing. Um, and so we're going to be really practicing looking for logos, pathos, and ethos, that rhetorical triangle, but also identifying any weaknesses such as propaganda or fallacy or other kinds of things that undermine our credibility that might be present in an article. So um, you, you've already chosen your topic. And if you see here the requirements, uh, this paper is about 750 to 900 words which if you use 12 point Calibri font, double spaced with one inch margins, that will fall into about two and a half to three pages long, right? Uh, this does not include your works cited page. Uh, you will be using MLA 8th edition style. If you turn in something that is not in MLA 8 edition style, you will have deductions. If it's MLA 7, then you'll have some some deductions, but it won't necessarily fail your paper. But if it's not in any MLA, like if you turn in something that's APA style, you will fail the paper because understanding how to use the chosen style of the course is one of your two major course objectives. So again, that's a really big problem if you don't uh, do that. Uh, in terms of pre-work, these are some of the things that you're going to be doing during this unit to help you achieve the final paper. Um, some of these are not required to turn in. They're just available to help you um, build your essay. Um, there's a rhetorical analysis chart, and that's that leaflet handout. This is what I consider kind of a pre-writing strategy, where it gives you a nice little place to start breaking down um, you know, what's going on in the essay to help you notice any possible problems. If you look on the second page here, it gives you some nice types of logos, ethos, and pathos to look for. Um, and then it also shows you, you know, how is it supposed to work to convince the audience? And how could you incorporate that information in your paper? How could you talk about it? So again, this is a really helpful handout to figure out how to take what you find in the essay to help you find things in the essay, and then how to, you know, explain it in your own paper.